Hey guys, it's Tyler with Sirius Archery Products. Welcome back to another video in our new technical video series. Today, we are going to be showing you how to install the half jacket component system. Alright guys, so like I said, we're going to be doing the half jacket installation here. We have some of our new Supernova SD shafts along with our aluminum post stainless steel sleeve half jacket system. So on these sleeves, we are actually um, partnering with Ethics, as you guys know, and with our new half jacket sleeves that have been coming in, we do have this small uh, machine mark on them. A lot of you guys, we got great feedback on these, um, but it was hard to find. Uh, that tapered side on a lot of these sleeves because it's not that big of a difference. So we do now have this tool mark that we are phasing in. So um, in the future, it's going to be a lot easier to identify which side um, of the sleeve goes to the proper uh, direction. This tool mark is always going to face to the front of the shaft towards your field pointer broadhead. So first thing we're going to do, we do have the spinner here. I like that um, for installing these inserts. If you have one, it just gives a good resting point for the arrow and you can kind of tinker with it at the end. So we've got our little cardboard block here. We're gonna use that to mix our epoxy. This is a two-part epoxy. Um, these are our industrial sizes. This is gonna be the same epoxy that you will receive if you purchase the Seriously Tough insert epoxy from our website, but we do so many installs here, we just need the bigger sizes, so that's what we're using today. Like I said, it's a two-part epoxy, so you're gonna mix even amounts of both parts. We're just doing two arrows here, so you don't need a lot. It is pretty fast setting, so you want to work in small batches. You can always make another pile, but you don't want to try to use epoxy that's drying out too quickly if you make a big glob of it and then kind of waste some of it. So we're just going to make a small pile of each, same size. Like I said, it's a one-to-one, -one, two-part epoxy. Just get that on there. And you're going to want to make sure that you mix it thoroughly. You can use a toothpick, popsicle stick, anything you've really got. Me, I usually just like using one of the posts if I'm keeping them full length and they're nice and long like this. I'm just going to use this to mix up my epoxy. So again, kind of back and forth circles. Just make sure you get a good thorough mixture. You want to take your time here. Make sure everything gets completely mixed. That way you're going to get a nice full cure on this. Similar to the last video, um, if you've watched that one, we do like installing a field point onto these posts um, just as something extra to grip on during your installation. It just really helps um, as well as doing a little bit of spin tuning at the end. You're going to want a field point on there. So now that this epoxy is nice and mixed, I'm just kind of kind of get a little amount on this post. And the first thing that you're actually going to want to do that I forgot is you're going to want to install your sleeve first with a half jacket system. It's very important. You want to get your sleeve on the shaft first, again, with that tool mark facing towards the front. So now you can see the length of your sleeve, about an inch. We're going to take our epoxy on the post. And the first thing is we're just going to cover the end of this shaft about the same length as the sleeve, spin it around, make sure you're getting a full layer on there. This is going to make sure that sleeve doesn't move on you, doesn't go anywhere. Make sure that's all the way around the shaft. And now, I use enough to where there's still going to be some on this post, so you don't have to go back to your epoxy. The post can now go straight in. You just want to do this slow, twisting as you go down. Again, we're looking for full coverage. That's the key here. Make sure everything stays together and seats really well. Once you get that down there, it's nice and seated. You're going to bring your sleeve up, and same concept, just as you bring the sleeve up slowly, just keep twisting it. That's going to ensure that you get a full coverage of that epoxy around there. It's going to have some excess squeeze out, but that's okay. That's what we want. Give it, you know, about 10 turns. Make sure everything's concentric. Grab your rag, a towel, paper towel, anything you got. Wipe off some of your excess there on the front as well as the back. Make sure your sleeve's up against there. And with our arrows, you know, our great straightness tolerances, the great tolerances of our components, the spin tuning is not super necessary, but if you have a spinner, it's never a bad idea to just go ahead and check it. But I mean, as you can see, that's perfectly spinning there and this arrow is done. We'll set it up to dry and it's going to be ready to shoot in about, you know, five minutes is the epoxy cure time, but 24 hours is going to be a good time to wait before you shoot anything, especially with a broadhead. Just make sure you give that epoxy the proper amount of set time, but it's as simple as that. 
All right, guys, we got everything glued up here. Um, the last step, if you want to, uh, we actually have um, some custom made drying racks in our shop that we use for our orders. Um, but if you're at home, you can lean these up against a wall, make you a little cardboard box like this just to uh, let them dry vertically. Um, if you have a little bit slower carrying epoxy, it's nice to be able to have everything in line vertically. That way it's not gonna mess up your spin or anything like that as it's drying. So we've got a little box here. We're just gonna go ahead and, and stick that one in there. Make sure you got enough um, space there to where it's not gonna pull your sleeve up, but just make sure that sleeve's all the way down and let it dry, you'll be ready to shoot. Thank you.